Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Now, let's begin. Okay, let's continue talking about the code from yesterday. So last time we have talked about the steps, A steps. So after that, we are going to, in every code, it is the fact that you need to check whether it arrives at the destination or not, which you have achieved the code or not. So if you have achieved the code, then you are going to update your data. It is fact. So you are, we are going to set the next x, next y, and i, which is the next step. Next, the location of next dot. You can think about this. Uh, the x and y axis of the next dot and i is served for a special reason. After that, we are working in the into a loop. And this is, as I said, it will be the most uh, important code in the entire, the entire DFS. You can think about it. So in this case, we are going to give a uh, for loop for i range from 0 to 7. So it x, it will try every type of working way, which is in the occur step, which is x will work through 1, try work through 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2 with respectively uh, y, which is centered, which is set on the next one. So in this case, it will try all the way combined of combined with x and next x and next y. So after every time it checks, it will set if if it is it out of bound. So if it's out of bound, you just go to here, go back to here, which you try the second the next point again. Um, in this case, if it's, I mean, if it is not out of bound, it will check the obstacle. So if it is the way, if the place like you get to is zero, I mean, has, a, has no obstacle on it and it is, and you have not walked past it. Remember, it is really important that in the code you need to uh, so it is how the book works. So it just, the set call just uh, to help you to make sure you haven't walked past any dot because you might just, I mean, search, search in a loop, in an infinite loop, and you know how the result will be. So you have passed this dot. And you start attempting the next one, and attempt has finished, and you click the number down. And it will be the end of the code, like you just keep attempting it. And you try it, success. Okay, if it, if this dot works, and you just keep going off, keep going off, until you find the destination, which is end x and end y, and you are going to arrive the place. So. This is just about how the code is, and we have reached the end of it, but we need to check whether it should work. Uh, so we are going to give them the number. So the first two digits, as I said, represents the length and width. So we are going to give it 4, 4. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0. Zero 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 zero. Uh, begin point one one. End point four four. And it will show you the shortest path is two. So how are you going to check it? 
uh, we check once, which is this is the shortest step, and this is the second. This is the second step that is working. So we are now able to prove the fact that this code actually runs successfully. Congratulations! So, um, which this is just how the depth first search is working, and. It is true that I'm going to run a second code. I mean, within this week, so that the second code is also about depth first search and it will be more harder. So, bye. In fact, problems, they have many solutions and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, Please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!